so luckily I was prepared for um, this action right here. <laughs> These Wanda lips. Um, because I had seen a video from Planet Combo, and this chick is talking about how when she activates, she her lips blow up, and she called them Angelina Jolie lips. Um, so at least I was prepared. But what I found interesting was I feel like because I have had fucking so many years of dental work and the numbing injections that the combo made it feel like my whole mouth was like and it felt like um, it felt like I was releasing all the toxins of eons like since I'm a kid into adulthood of, of uh, the numbing agents from the dentist that have been inside and all around my mouth and all the work Oh my gosh, you know, all the work that's been done, the root canals, the, the, the fillings, the teeth, like everything, I felt it all like, like I was releasing it, so that's a good thing, and now I'm laughing to see if <laughs> it's still like that, so maybe my lips will go down tomorrow, if not, I got a pretty big mouth, so nobody will really notice. <laughs> um, and I spent most of the time afterwards just crying for Bob. I just couldn't stop crying for you, Bob Wheat, because Bobby's like, Bob is, he is like everybody's brother. <laughs> and, um, I know you're looking over us, but you were such... You were such... A guardian angel for me. You were such an angel for me, Bob. So damn it. <laughs> I cried my ass off in there. <laughs> I think you were like... An angel. It's just your time to go back. But thank you for the time that you gave us, Bob. And thank you for the time you told me that you were terminal, <laughs> left for dead, and that you're just going to write it out and do it your way. Thank you for giving me one more year. Well, yeah. Because are huge. Yeah, but my friend Bob died. Bob Wheat, Robert Wheat. Yeah. He just died, and so after, you know, I did the purge and everything. Then I just started fucking bawling my eyes out for him, you know. And then the kid comes in to do his ayahuasca ceremony, and I was like. Don't let him see you cry. And I put the covers up because the lights were still up, you know, and he was getting set up. I didn't want him to panic or freak out. So, yeah. I was mourning and just thinking about Bob. He was like everybody's brother. Anyone who knew him in this town, you know, it was like just everybody's bro, everybody's brother, you know. And for me, he was kind of a guardian angel, 